What's going on, friends? It's TJ, another episode of THC and NFTs. Today, we're back with another episode. I'm going to talk to y'all a little about a ledger and a cold storage wallet. But before we get into this, let's check out this intro, and I'm going to check out this dab. You could try to play, but you're never going to beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Alright friends, welcome back, it's TJ Um, if you're not already, please, you know, hit the subscribe button Leave a like on the video Uh, leave a comment in the video, you know, it really helps me out I appreciate the support So like I said, we're back today with a Ledger Nano, and we're, we're, we're going to set up our Ledger Nano, and we're going to make our first transfer of an NFT off OpenSea into our uh, cold storage wallet. Now, what is a cold storage wallet? <coughs> well, a cold storage wallet essentially stores your crypto and your NFT private keys offline. Now, what is the difference between a MetaMask wallet or a Coinbase wallet? or Rainbow Wallet, or any of those other wallets. Well, there's two types of wallets. There's hot wallets, and then there's cold wallets. Now, a hot wallet is always connected uh, online. That is why it's called a hot wallet. The private keys are generated and stored online, giving, you know, um, making it easy, more easily accessible to uh, hackers and scammers when your private keys are stored online. Now, a cold wallet, exactly in the name, you know, in its name, a cold wallet. Your private keys, uh, once you're, they're minted from online uh, and you generate them, you can transfer them and store them offline in a USB de device uh, such as this Ledger Nano, Pro, uh, Nano S. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this box and we're, we're gonna check out what we got here. Inside the box, we got a nice little hello packet. Inside the hello packet, we got our getting started guide, knowledge of power, and and a little sheet to write down uh, our recovery phrase. So, uh, I highly recommend you know you store your recovery phrase in a safe spot, somewhere that you will not lose it, somewhere that we you, you not lose access to. And I also believe that someone that you trust, you should give access to in case, you know, if something happens to you, you know, and, and that's just my recommendation. You don't have to listen, but yeah. Next, we got, you know, your, your ledger cold storage wallet right here. Very sleek in design. Very pretty. I like it. I'm a fan of it. And then inside the box, you have your micro USB to USB adapter for your ledger. Uh, looks like a, a necklace band and a keychain if you want to put it on a keychain. So we're going to dive right into this video and we're going to see what steps to do. On the getting started guide, it says we're going to go to ledger.com forward slash start. So that's where we're going to start. All right, so right here is the website, uh, ledger.com forward slash start. Uh, we're gonna head over here and we're going to download the uh, Ledger Live app software for your Ledger Nano. So right here under download, you can see uh, there's multiple apps. There's Windows, Mac, and Linux. They got all the software for you know all applications, but we're running Windows, so we're gonna download Windows. After you've installed, uh, the uh, Ledger Live, this is your startup page. So you'll see the startup page right here and we are going to select get started. After selecting get started, we're going to agree to the terms and the privacy policy and we're gonna enter the Ledger app. We're gonna then select our device, which is the Nano S. If you have a Nano S Plus or a Nano X, you will select one of them, but we are setting up for a Nano S, so we will select that device. Now let's set up our Nano. 
So right here, it says you're gonna need to plan for 30 minutes, take your time, grab a pen, and stay alone. So I highly recommend, you know, like I said, I highly recommend writing down and staying safe, not letting anyone else see uh, what you're writing down. So right here, you need to connect your Ledger Nano to your PC. After you connect your Ledger Nano, you are gonna be prompted to uh, enter a pin. You can do all this uh, via right here, but for the safety feature of this video, I did it through my Ledger, and um, you're going to be prompted to enter and generate a pin. I highly recommend you creating a, a pin that no one will be able to guess, and then for your recovery phrase, you will need to write it down in sequence of 1 through 24. Make sure you write it down because the following question will be asking you to verify your recovery phase. You will need to uh, verify each word in order. And then after you've done that, the next step will be, and now you want to check to see if your Nano is genuine. We're going to verify, make sure our Nano is genuine and it's not a fake. It's not going to be sending it to other people. People. So we want to allow our ledger manage to uh, our ledger live to manage our, our device. So we're going to click the two top buttons on your ledger, and that will allow you to connect your ledger to your uh, ledger live. Once you've done that, you are all good. Your Nano S is genuine and is ready to use with Ledger Live. Congrats, you have set up your ledger. Now we are going to add uh, an app. You have to go to Manager, and inside Manager, you'll be able to see all the uh, coins and crypto and uh, tokens that are compatible with Ledger. We are going to be using a Ethereum. Uh, I wasn't sure how to look at this, so I looked at MetaMask and I saw install Ethereum app. So I installed the Ethereum app through that. Uh, right at the home page though on app catalog, you'll see Ethereum. You can select Ethereum from there and just add it from there. But I added it from here, which is completely fine as well. Now, after you install ETH app, you want to add an uh, account. So we're going to, uh, on our ledger, we're going to open the app on our ledger since we've downloaded the app. And we're going to connect it with these two buttons right here, the two buttons on top. It's going to say synchronizing. It is generating an account for us, uh, for our ledger, which will be ours, which is connected to our private C phrase that we, that we made. And it's gonna give you the ability to rename your wallet. Uh, you can keep it as Ethereum one. I renamed my wallet to TJ's wallet. Uh, that, that was just a personal choice. Um, the next step will be is to add account. Account added successfully. Next, we want to transfer an NFT from OpenSea to our uh, Ledger wallet. So first, we got to find what our address is. So we're going to go to a receive, and right here, it's going to show us our address. Uh, we want to verify our address is correct on our Ledger. You're going to look at the Ledger and scroll through and verify that the address meets this. You're going to verify it. And make sure you copy your address right here, because uh, this is the address you want to send and transfer your NFTs to. So once you've copied that and verified your address, you're going to go over to OpenSea, and you're going to select the NFT you want to transfer. In this scenario, I am transferring a secret sesh NFT uh, number 1132. Right at the top, you will select Transfer. When you select Transfer, you'll get a pop-up from MetaMask. Uh, alerting you of your transfer, you will enter in the address that you have copied, which is your Ledger, na Ledger Nano address. You will uh, submit transfer. Once you submit transfer, you'll get another pop-up because it does cost gas. It is a few dollars in gas to make the transfer. Uh, right here it's showing $3.74. That is my total for ETH that it'll cost, or in fiat, the transfer from OpenSea to my Ledger wallet. So right here, you can see uh, we're waiting for the blockchain confirmation. This typically takes maybe about a minute. Your transfer has started. Uh, shortly here, we'll see transfer complete. Transfer complete. Next, you go back to your ledger and you go to your wallet. You click your Ethereum account. 
Under your Ethereum account, NFT non-fungible token collection, right there you see Secret Sesh NFT. Now your wallet is stored offline. So that is all there is to it. It is relatively simple. They give you a real easy step-by-step -step to follow. And having a cold storage wallet gives you that extra layer of security, you know. Just keeping some of your private keys stored offline, at least the ones that you consider really valuable to you and you would be devastated if you lost. Because yes, I do understand it costs money to transfer out and it costs money to transfer in. But if there was something that you would be devastated to lose, I highly recommend getting a cold storage wallet. And with that in mind, I will leave a link uh, or uh, a code in the description of this video that will give you 20% off. It is a, a friend code that I received from uh, signing up for Ledger. And I'll also leave a link to my Twitter and my Discord. You know, feel free to jump in, say hi. It's a fairly new Discord. And until next time, my friends, you know, I appreciate y'all for stopping by. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. You know, leave a like, and I'll see y'all later. Be safe, take care, be blessed. Love y'all.